Sizzle, sizzle. All right, guys and goons. Welcome back to another scabby episode of Escape from Around the Fire. Um, this one here is the ZPAP 85. Ooh, yeah, she's still warm. Uh, Zastava manufactures these. These are readily available, the base firearm. You can get them just about anywhere. Uh, you can also get them on our website, boom. Um, sorry, I'm not mic'd up to today, by the way. I'm just being lazy and the weather is throwing me a curveball, so nothing's really working out the way I wanted to today. So this is what you're getting. This is uh, the bar we were building at home. I don't know if you've seen any of the other episodes, but it's gonna be kind of my new little studio space, I think, as I get it, get it going here. But yeah, back to the meat and potatoes here. Um, Zastava 1.5 millimeter receiver, uh, really, really good firearms. They are a little interesting to try and convert um, because uh, at least what we're getting imported in the United States never had um, full auto capabilities. So you gotta do a little finagle in there. Um, it's, it's nothing crazy. Um, we obviously can't discuss that sort of stuff on YouTube. Um, that is a uh, secret information that, you know, the good old American USA Republic can't know because knowledge is dangerous, you know. But um, got the TDI arms, lower handguard, handguards and stuff, uh, Yugos, which is what Zasuas are, Yugo pad and AKs, um, tend to be a little bit harder to find stuff for. So this TDI arms lower was one of the only options at the time. It is not a bad piece by any means. Um, it just, there isn't much else out there you can do. Um, I do recall, I feel like I paid um, quite a chunk for it. I don't remember exactly what it is. Um, and then I can't remember if we got this through them or someone else, but it's the cheese grater top guard because there wasn't like a corresponding piece. It's just the lower, you know, so you got to get creative. Uh, you know, there might be more stuff out there on the market nowadays that I am unaware of at this very moment. I went with just a uh, old school uh, vert grip. Uh, mostly because it was laying around. What I would really like to put on here, but I don't have at this immediate moment, is probably like a BCM or something. I like those little angled chunky boys, or the slight angled chunky boys. Um, I've got a green laser on here. I can't remember who this one is from, but it's uh, it's a overseas one for sure because it is not legal powered. That thing is super duper strong. And then I've got a CNC Warrior. Um, the one by 26, I think it's one by 26 is the thread pitch on these guns, to uh, five, uh, drawing a blank here, to the standard uh, five by six conversion was that? Half by 28, half by 28, right, okay, there we go. Um, so that, that CNC Warrior, and then this is a uh, Gem Tech Track 2. Um, really, really nice can, that's the stainless one. Uh, it does get hot but it runs, um, it is full auto rated. I do not know if it's full auto rated on something this short because I don't bother to read instructions. You should read instructions, especially when you spend money on things. Uh, one, because it's stupid to break and nice stuff, and two, it is dumb to hurt yourself. So uh, don't do like me, read your instructions. Uh, you've seen this stock before. I yanked this off the other guy we had because I'm running low on stocks, or at least pretty ones, or nice ones that I like to shoot with that give you the right, you know, kind of cheat comb. And then primary arms. We've been selling primary arms in the shop now for a little while. Um, I wanted to commandeer myself a piece, so this is one of their, um, I believe it's, it's the SLX MD25. I believe this is supposed to be like a, uh, their version of a Trijicon MRO. Uh, really, really nice little piece. I just went with the dot version as opposed to the Chevron version. Um, just because it was cheaper and I didn't want to seal the nice ones that we had in store, I wanted to leave them for our customers. Ho Grip, um, obviously converted. Uh, this one's a little, you know, uh, wonk because it's got a, I believe, a Russian trigger group or a Hungarian trigger group inside of a Yugoslavian firearm. So I had to do a little finagle in there and you know, just the way some stuff fits is interesting. But it all works and it works very, very well. It is an extremely fun firearm. Um, what else can I tell you about this guy? Well, they're not incredibly expensive. They're very reliable. Obviously, the semi-automatic versions that most of you would be able to own are very, very capable. You could drop in um, match-grade trigger packs, things like that, to get really, really controllable high rates of fire. Um, 
I suppose you could also do the goofy binary triggers, but I don't really find those to be very interesting myself. We do sell them. They are available. We will help you install them, things like that, if that's just for a range fun gun. But they tend to be more trouble than they're worth. Um, when it comes to a nice trigger, uh, you know, we've had some real luck lately with the uh, CMC drop-ins. Now you do have to do some safety work with them sometimes because not all safeties are created equally and the engagement is very important there because you have to have a safe firearm. But they do have really, really light, crisp triggers uh, with a very, very small reset and that would be an option for somebody that says, you know, oh man, I really want a full auto, but I can't have a full auto. Um, other questions I suppose people would ask is, does it get hot? Hell yes, it gets hot. Uh, I should have brought some gloves down in the range, but this little grip does help because you can get yourself away from the firearm quite a bit and still sustain that fully automatic fire. Uh, how long it would last before that sucker melts off is anyone's guess. Maybe one day we'll test it. Uh, one day when I have more money for this channel and oodles of ammo, like those uh, burn down videos from Iraqi veteran. Yeah, maybe we'll do something like that. It's probably all been done before, though. What do you need to see it again for? But all right, guys. All this and more available, um, you know, through the website or through our store. Get a hold of us if you need any help with anything. We're always here to answer questions. We like to have fun. You know, we might joke with you, but there's no such thing as a dumb question. We, we'll, you know, we might bust your balls a little bit, but we uh, will always treat you right. Um, yeah, man. All right, dudes. Until next time. Keep it real. Be safe. Have fun. Catch you on the flip.